25th of July 2015 and today we're looking for Greater Burdock. Okay well this is Greater Burdock here and um, you can see it's it's quite a large plant it's about this one's about five feet tall and it's got these quite broad leaves which are uh, lighter on the underside and there's no serrations on the edges and these pink flowers which um, it's kind of closely it's not the same genus as thistles but it's quite closely related and yeah you can see the similarity here between this thistle flower and these burdock flowers over here um, the difference is when a thistle has finished flowering It'll produce thistle down seeds that will blow away in the wind, whereas this here turns into the burr, which um, obviously gives burdock its name. Dock is just a an old English Anglo-Saxon word for plant, really, but um, burdock. And yeah, these burrs, there's tiny hooks all over here, and these will attach to animal fur, and it will distribute itself that way. <laughs> And as you can see, these leaves get um, pretty big. I mean, that's my hand in comparison to the size of the leaf. Um, yeah, I believe they're the largest leaf of any plant native to the UK. Because of their large size, the leaves are useful as a wrapper in which to carry food that you've gathered or to wrap food in for cooking. And it's a biennial, so the first year you have these plants with just a rosette of leaves and then the following year they'll grow into the, the full-size plant with the flowers on. And pretty much the whole plant is edible. Um, uh, the immature flower heads can be eaten like um, a globe artichoke and the young leaves can be eaten as well and also the stems but you need to peel them and the whole plant's actually quite bitter which helps it defend itself against predators but um, yeah the, the stems can be eaten raw if you peel them and uh, also down below is a big taproot which um, again you need to peel the outer layer because it can be quite bitter but um, also generally you want to go for a plant like this which is a first year plant whereas this one flowering is a second year plant and the root on this will be much less tough than that one they can get quite woody um, but it can be a bit hit and miss I've eaten first year plants which have been woody and second year plants which have been fine but they can also get really big I mean there's I've dug up burdock roots that are as big as my forearm and yeah there's an entire meal down there and also because they often grow in similar situations it's quite easy to confuse these leaves with um foxglove leaves they both tend to grow in woodland edges and sunny glades and um yeah, you don't want to eat foxgloves, so always make sure you've, you've got the right plant. And this is a foxglove here. Um, you can see it's got these slight serrations to the edge of the leaves, which burdock doesn't have. Now, as for its medicinal qualities, there's a lot of um, medicinal uses claimed for greater burdock traditionally. Um, uh, that it's a diuretic, which it probably is, um, and um, <coughs> it purifies the blood. I'm not quite sure what is meant by purify in that context, but uh, yeah, that, that's one of them. And also as a, a poultice or a paste used as um, treatment for skin ailments like acne and eczema and burns and bites and things like that. 
and uh, there have been a few scientific studies done into uh, burdock and its properties and what it contains and um, it certainly contains some quite strong anti antioxidants um, there's phenolic acids and arctogenin, quercetin and luteolin and uh, it's also been found to have anti-inflammatory properties and antibacterial properties as well and in Chinese medicine it's traditionally used as a, a treatment for impotence and um, yeah there have been a couple of studies that Chinese scientists have done which um, seem to demonstrate that it does increase your testosterone so if you want a bit of lead in your pencil eat some burdock as long as you've got someone to write to, obviously. And a word of caution, burdock root may reduce blood glucose levels and increase insulin levels. It may also have a blood thinning quality, so it's best to avoid if you're on medications such as diuretics, diabetic medications or blood thinning medications. And the claim to fame that these, um, these hooked burrs have is um, they apparently inspired velcro uh, the guy saw the hooks and how they attached a fur and invented velcro so there you have it greater burdock um, member of the daisy family closely related to thistles quite easy to identify and lots of edible uses and plenty more medicinal uses as well greater burdock